Speed revision. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another speed paint video. And uh, it's October, best time of the year. And in honor of Halloween, I wanted to do a cool little spooky drawing. And what better drawing to do than my favorite, um, like, Halloween monster creature is a zombie. So, I don't know, I just had this cool idea. Um, you know that scene in Indiana Jones when they're eating the brains out of the monkeys? Well, this is pretty much that, but it's just a human guy's head and a zombie. Um, and since it's like Inktober, I thought I'd try to do it really comic book style with a lot of hatching. Um, and no color. I mean, I, I like how it turned out, and if someone out there also likes it and wants to see it in color, let me know. And I can paint it and make a whole other video for that. So, um, yeah, here we're doing the disembodied head that's getting feasted on. Um, yeah, I'm really, the faces of this, I'm really happy with. I really enjoyed how the heads turned out. Um, yeah, just a lot of hatching, man, really time consuming. Um, the guts coming out of his neck was pretty fun to do. Pretty simple, just kind of scribbled in a bunch of black and white to make it look thick. And uh, here we're coming in on the zombie. Zombie was a bit tougher. Um, there's those Bulbasaur spots, I call them. The, they look like the skin of a Bulbasaur. I don't know. But um, yeah, I mean, I just kept uh, in mind all the time that the light would be coming from above. Tried to use that for my hatching. Uh, I think it turned out pretty well. It's super meticulous to do and it does drive you a little bit crazy, but it does give you a cool effect. Um, I was, I uh, tried a diff couple different facial expressions on the actual zombie. I think you could see that earlier in the video. Uh, a couple of them, he just looked like pissed off or mad. I kind of had him looking down at one point, but I kind of just like the, the blank uh, expression of just him looking forward, the thousand yard stare type of deal as zombies do, as he's just, it's almost like he's watching TV while he's munching on these brains. Um, yeah, I also contemplating putting him in, putting him in clothes. I think I thought about putting like a, oh yeah, there's the bib. I thought about putting a bib on him at one point, but the head was right there. So you wouldn't really be able to see anything. And I didn't want it to get too busy behind the head, especially with all the hatching. I didn't want the head to get lost in the figure of the zombie. So I just kind of had him no shirt on, you know. I threw in his little zombie bite on the arm. A little detail there. That's how he became a zombie. Uh, the fork and knife. I had a lot of fun doing that. Like, you know, zombies don't. They just munch, man. They don't need eating utensils. But I, I don't know. I just like how it's kind of fancy. Like, he's got his pinky out with his fork. Um... I don't know, I just thought it was funny how it, it's kind of like taking this barbaric zombie and he's kind of acting sophisticated as he eats. I mean, and who put that metal band on the dude's head, you know? Someone's feeding this zombie, and we need to find out who. But, uh, oh yeah, here, this one was tough, the, uh, the goop, the brain goop. I wanted it to be, like, stringy. The, it, it worked better from the mouth to the fork than it did on the, uh, from the knife to the head. I just think because there's a lot of black uh, shadow behind it. So I couldn't do a lot of the texturing like I did from the mouth to the fork, all the slime there. But I think overall it worked out pretty well. Uh, background, I wasn't really sure what to do. I had originally wanted to like put stuff on the wall, like a living room, but I was just about done with it. So I added some gradients on some of the furniture um, to give it a little texture or depth, I guess. I don't know. I like the way it turned out. Uh, why don't you guys let me know what you think? Um, maybe you want it colored? Um, shout out to my buddy Ian DJ Housecat Wilson for, uh, let me use his beat. I'll leave a link to the, his YouTube channel in the description if you want to check it out. Check out some other videos. You can uh, see these pictures on my Instagram. It's uh, BennyBeats111. I'll link to that too. Thanks for watching, guys.